this scent strongly reminds me of an air freshener like a car air freshener maybe even a solid car air freshener hey guys you know what it is it's kashima and today we're doing a bath and body works review of blush cardigan so this is a scent from the i'm gonna call it the cozy collection because i don't really know what it is and the notes are sweet raspberries sugar dip violet and warm amber packaging i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 i love this blush color i love the texture at the side um you can tell this is supposed to be released for sweater weather it's so cozy because the knitting has texture can you see that yeah right so it's pretty nice the gold atomizer is a nice touch pretty nice bottle design I love the metallics all around it sorry about that I love the metallics all around the bottle that's nice so guys this scent strongly reminds me of an air freshener like a car air freshener maybe even a solid car air freshener right you guys know those ones in the can that's what this smells like to me I'm not gonna lie to you right so i'm not sure if it's the sugar dip violet giving the sweet raspberries that scent but it smells like a canned solid air freshener that you put in your car that's what it smells like to me um it could be it could be worked in really nicely especially if you layer this with another fragrance i'm also hoping it smells really nice in the cream and the creaminess comes up in the body cream so that when you layer it with the spray it's really really nice that's my hope i'm not sure because i haven't tried the cream y'all be selling out this whole collection whole collection i could i could not find the cream for the life of me right so that's what it smells like to me i think it's it is an airy note like an airy essence in there as well that's pretty maybe that's why it smells like air freshener to me. <laughs> because of the airy vibe but it's not the greatest it's 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 a decent fragrance right and this is one that i encourage to try before buying because it's not like a hit straight out of the park that everyone's gonna like if you're normally a fan of bath and body works berries this isn't exact but i'm not sure if it smells similar to pink berry cloud because Pinkberry Cloud had that airy note in it. I'm not sure if it's like similar to that. I haven't heard anyone make that mention. Now, nor do I know what Pinkberry Cloud smell like. But I don't even know if it smells like the name. Blush Cardigan. It does smell like if something was blush. I know some people are really excited for it to smell like amber blush. From Bath and It doesn't smell like amber blush guys. It, it doesn't. I loved amber blush. It doesn't smell like amber blush. The longevity so i this definitely lasts longer than its counterpart in the collection wrapped in vanilla it smells it lasts longer than this right definitely lasts longer than this if you guys want to see my review on this check it out it's either already on the channel or it's coming i would say the longevity might be around three to four hours about three to four hours would i repurchase no no i would not having it once is good enough um and i don't think you're missing anything if you've not added this to your collection i don't think you're missing anything so once for me is enough uh will i finish this set i might try i don't i won't die if i don't get a shower gel even though it might smell really good in the shower gel but i'm not gonna die over that so the body cream i really want so that i can use it with this so that i can get this used up a lot faster um so that the scent can be stronger and can carry and i'm also hoping um that the body cream is sweeter and um creamy do i recommend the answer is no i don't recommend uh, like i said it's not one to die for you're not missing out and i tried it so you don't have to this isn't a must have by any means it kind of smells like bubble gum like a raspberry trident or something it kind of smells like bubble gum but it reminds me of a canned air freshener more and it also smells like pink luster's hairspray 
thank God it finally came to me. It heavily reminds me of the scent of Pink Luster's hairspray. If you guys want to smell like that, I definitely recommend the kind of person I see wearing this is the kind of person that wears loose cardigans that kind of look a bit oversized. They're normally hugging up a cup of coffee or tea, but they're also feminine and um, they don't necessarily wear like, they wear like their natural nails, but painted, they put together, but not high maintenance, that kind of person. That's who I see wearing this. Like someone that like appreciates a natural manicure. Someone that like maybe never really wears makeup. Um, maybe someone that the only kind of makeup they wear is lip gloss, but they're also still a very beautiful person. That's the essence I get from this fragrance. So I'm gonna show you some layering combinations for blush cardigan. I pull up my collection guys. I look all through my perfume collection trying to find combinations to fit these two scents. But I think I found some really good ones. So, easy no brainer for blush cardigan is champagne sprinkles. Champagne sprinkles is an easy no brainer. They both have a raspberry note. If you want to turn blush cardigan in a sweeter raspberry, add champagne sprinkles. Right? Add champagne sprinkles. You can use the cream for champagne sprinkles and the spray for blush cardigan or you can use both sprays or you can use the cream from blush cardigan and then spray on top with champagne sprinkles whichever way you want to do it it will both work because the fragrance mist and the body cream for champagne sprinkles smells fairly similar there, there's no difference apart from of course in my mind the creams smell a bit creamier <laughs> right so that's that so that's an easy no-brainer combination right there and next combination you guys can try is mixing blush cardigan the fine fragrance mist with ariana grande's moonlight so i was there thinking like i feel like it has a fruit note in there like a dark fruit note i can't tell if it's a berry or if it's like a plum but it has one of those notes and i figured that would work well with blush cardigan and guess what it does so it works well that powdery scent that moonlight has you can smell it at the end of the blush cardigan so it doesn't clash they work well together you have both use both together the next one is this one is a bit of a stretch right because i have coach floral blush right i have coach floral blush and I'm not sure I like that perfume, right? So I tried to pair them both together. Initially, they're fighting, they're clashing. It's not drying the way, but as it dries down, it smells better, but it doesn't smell great. <laughs> yeah, this one is a bit of a stretch. I, I, I think I might try them together, but it's not the best combination I've ever came up with. But this is a cry for help. If you have any good combinations to wear with Coach Flora Blush, let me know in the comments below. I need it. <laughs> and Blush Cardigan and Ariana Grande Moonlight is my winner combo. Thanks for watching guys. As usual, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Bye!